hello guys in this video i will show you exactly how to buy coin on binance i will also show you how to set different kinds of orders and finally i will show you how to set stop loss for those of you who would like to do spot trading on the binance app before i continue if you are passing through my channel for the first time or you are watching any of my videos for the first time i'm nelson ed i create cryptocurrency videos to teach you how to trade how to invest and generally cryptocurrency trend videos do well to subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell and like this video guys smash that like button let's get this video to 100 likes so let's dive into the video once you open the binance app you'll get to this page this is the binance home ensure you've registered and you have binance account if you don't have binance account check the description of this video and click on the link to register your binance account and do your kyc after registering on binance do well to do your kyc to enable you have full access to binance application and all the features binance has to offer finally once you're on this home page all you need to do is to make sure you already have money to buy or to sell okay so if you don't have any usdt or any currency to trade with do well to use the p2p section to do so so once you are done with that you come to the wallet section make sure you transfer money at least transfer money from your other accounts or from funding accounts to your spot account make sure that the money you are going to be using is on your spot account okay so once the money you are going to be using is on your spot account you are going to be able to trade the binance market then you click on trade if you look at the bottom of this app you see trades once you click on trade it brings you to the sports trading interface now what is sports trading sport trading is the kind of trading you do in the cryptocurrency space that requires you to buy or sell digital assets what this means is that you are going to be using your money to buy let's say bitcoin or ethereum and it's going to become your property anytime you want you can sell these coins back once you click on trades, you are going to see the pair at the top where you see BTC forward slash USDT. If you click on that, you have access to change the trading pair you want to trade. So let's say I search for XRP, you can see XRP USDT, XRP BUSD. Let's say I search for Matic. Once a coin is listed on Binance, you can get that coin on the spot market after you've seen btc forward slash usdt by the right corner you see two small candles one small candle and one big candle if you click on it it gives you bitcoin chart this is if you are doing your spot trading and uh, maybe you want to look at the chart before you buy a coin this is for those that are going to be focusing on spot trading but this video is dedicated to just learning how to buy and sell any coin so that is for that you go back next you have buy and you have sell so when you click on buy this is where you can buy then after buy and sell if you look at the right corner you see price you see amount then under it you see some orders in red and you see some orders in green the orders in red are the selling orders these are orders people are posting around the world to sell their bitcoin why the green orders are the orders people are posting to buy bitcoin so this is where the price difference starts this is where there is an equilibrium where people drag different prices someone wants to sell around 23 800 another person wants to buy around 23 700 you have the ability to decide the price you want to buy after this video now look at the buy and sell button at the left corner under buy and sell you see limit if you click on that limit you see limit you see market you see stop loss you see trailing stop loss and you see oco so we are going to just be focusing on market limit and stop limit so when you click on market market is a kind of order that you can set so we are going to be looking at three kinds of orders you can set when you want to buy a coin so when you are using the market order this is a kind of order that you use to buy directly with the market price which means once you place an order you are going to be buying exactly with the market price so currently bitcoin is around 23 831 so if you use the market order you are going to be buying exactly the market price so let's just do a practical for that after selecting market you notice you don't have any space to type in the price you want to buy because this is a market order you are going to be using directly the price in the market so the only space you have here is to put in the amount you want to buy okay either you are using usdt to buy or you are using your native currency before i proceed when you look at btc forward slash usdt 
any coin that comes after that forward slash specifies the currency you are going to be using to trade the one before the forward slash in this example btc slash usdt usdt is the base currency that you are going to be using to buy or sell btc what it means is that you can only buy btc using usdt when you are trading this pair and you can only sell btc to get usdt but if i should change this to like say eth you can see eth btc this means i'm going to be using btc to buy ethereum or i'll sell ethereum to get btc it's that simple so is either i sell ethereum to get btc or i sell btc or i use btc to buy ethereum so the coin after the forward slash is the base currency that you are going to be using to buy or sell the one for the forward slash after refreshing the page i can click on ethereum then i search for btc and i'll see btc usdt okay i'll select it once i select it it means i'm going to be using usdt to buy or sell btc all i need to do is i can put ten dollars right here if i put ten dollars it means i'm going to be using ten dollars to buy bitcoin but if i want to use all the money i have let's say i want to buy with every single usdt i have all i need to do is if you look under where the cursor is blinking you see 25 you see 50 you see 75 and you see 100 these are the percentage bar to put in or to select the percentage you want to use in your capital so if i use 100 it means i'm going to be using the entire 21 dollars i have here then i will click on buy once i click on buy automatically it buys bitcoin for me so if i go to my wallet you can see right here i have bitcoin worth 21 dollars so if i go back again all i need to do is i click on sell by where you see buy at the top under btc forward slash usdt if i click on sell i can equally sell 100 percent again and i will sell my bitcoin if i go back to my wallet and check you can see that i no longer have btc i right now have usdt okay that is how easy it is and to see my other book if you look at the bottom here you see open orders you see found at the right corner you are going to see a small book icon if i click on that book icon it shows me my other history so in case you want to see your other history to know what you buy and sell you can see this is my last order so that is how to go about this so now you've understand market order let's now switch to limit order when you click on market which is under buy and sell you select limit limit order is an advanced market order this is a kind of order that gives you access to decide the price at which you want to buy or sell so after limit you see where you can put in the price and automatically it fills in the current price of bitcoin for you but you can change it and put whatsoever you want just like i'm doing let's say i want to buy bitcoin when it gets to twenty-two thousand, i can simply put twenty-two thousand. then the next bar is where you put the quantity of bitcoin you want to buy so if you want to buy one bitcoin you can type one bitcoin here yeah? but if you don't want to buy one bitcoin and you want to buy based on the amount you already have then you can use total usdt that is another bar the last piece where you see 25 percent 50 percent 75 percent 100 percent under that percentage you see total where you see usdt in bracket so let's say i want to buy btc with ten dollars i can put ten dollars but if i equally want to buy with everything i have i'll just click on 100 percent and automatically it fills in every money i have and i'll place my order by clicking buy btc once I click on buy BTC, you see I have an open order at the bottom. My open order is showing one, then we see limit buy. What this means is that this order will remain here till BTC gets to 22,000. Now, a limit order is a kind of order that executes when the limit is hit. This means that once I place this order right here, this order will remain till BTC gets to 22,000. If it takes one year for btc to get to twenty two thousand, this order will remain here and it can never go away unless i cancel it so btc must get to twenty two thousand and the dot before this order can be executed that is the way limit order works so i will delete this but let me show you how to use the limit order to buy a coin quickly so if you want to buy with this limit order and you want to buy it quickly now when you look at the order book where you see red orders and green orders you see um, a price in between where you see 20 
3,844 that keeps changing. That is the current price of Bitcoin. You can actually click on it and it will automatically fill here for you. If you equally want to buy with someone's price, you can quickly do that. If you click on any of these green orders, it keeps changing. If you click on the red orders, it keeps changing also. So when you click on the red orders, it means you are selecting a particular person's order to buy from. When you are clicking anyone's order on this green section, it simply means you want to buy at a price that this buyer is equally interested in. So it's that simple, but for you to get your order filled immediately, you can simply use the current market price to get your order filled using the limit order. So once you click on that price at the middle, then you select 100% and you click on buy, you see automatically this executed immediately okay so when i go to my wallet you can see i have bitcoin already i have bitcoin worth 21 dollars right here if i want to sell the same thing i can select the current market price click 100 percent and i will sell this bitcoin i purchased if i go back to my wallet you can see that the bitcoin i have has equally changed that is if the other has filled if it hasn't filled let's check good the other has not filled because bitcoin is currently below 23,865 that i set so for this order to execute immediately i can simply cancel it or i allow bitcoin to get to this price before i can sell but for this tutorial i'll just cancel click on the current market price again and click on sell select 100 percent Okay, after selecting the price, select 100%, then click on sell. Let's see if this has been sold. By refreshing the page, then go to the wallet. Good, you can see I have my USDT back here. Congratulations, guys. If you are still watching this video up till now, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell, and like this video. If you have any question, use the comment section. So, guys. I believe that you've just learned how to buy and sell coins using Binance. Let's say you want to buy any other coin. We can change this Selematic. Okay, let's know if it's only Bitcoin we are buying and selling. If we select Matic, it's still the same thing. We select the current price, put 100% and we'll click on buy Matic. Once you click on buy Matic, we can check our wallet. Once we check our wallet, you can see I have 17 Matic right here. If I go back and I want to sell this Matic, still the same thing i just execute the order so now you've understood limit orders and market orders let's now look at stop limit so click on limit again you select stop limit stop limit is a kind of risk management order a kind of order that helps you to mitigate your risk and to kick you out of the market anytime the market is going against you this comes in handy when you are doing spot trading so to set stop limit is very simple all you need to do is once you select your stop limit you fill in this so let me quickly fill it to explain it to you so in this stop i'll put 22500 in this limit let's say i put 22400 and here i'll put 100 percent of what i have now this is the way stop limit works or stop loss this is equally called stop limit or stop loss so to set stop loss or stop limit the first price which is here this is where you see stop which i put 22500 this is where you set the trigger price the trigger price is a price that the market must hit for your order to be in the order book what this means is that after setting this order <clears throat> what this means is that after setting this order your order is not yet in the order book see this condition is meant once bitcoin price gets down to 22500 automatically this exchange will place an order for you to sell at 22400 okay so why i put 22400 here is that this is the limit order this is the price i want to sell but this is the price i want the market to put in my order that i want the exchange to put my order in the order book so why would i want my order to enter the order book at 22500 and yet i want to sell hundred dollar lower which is 22400 what i did here is because the market can move so quickly this is the crypto market the crypto market can be so volatile that anything can happen within seconds okay so once the market once bitcoin price is at 22500 normally everybody will want to buy cheaper so when i'm selling around 22400 my order will quickly sell out than when i'm selling 22500 and the current price is around 22500 okay and secondly when the market is falling it's false with speed and the market might you know jump your stop loss which will still keep you in the market so the general idea of it is to give 
your trigger price a breathing space before your limit price so let's say i want to sell 22 500 all i could do is i could change this to let's say 22 600 and i put 22 500 here what it means is that if bitcoin start falling in price and get to 22 600 the exchange will place an order to sell up my bitcoin at 22 500 now this kind of order is used when you are trying to reduce your risk let's say you bought bitcoin and you want to make sure that you lose some certain percentage maybe like 10 percent and you understand that when you sell your bitcoin around 22 500 you are going to just be losing 10 percent this is an order you set to help you get out of the market in case you buy bitcoin and the price start falling okay but if you are just an investor you don't need this kind of order so after putting it like this i could click on sell btc then it gives you a confirmation page this confirmation page you see it tells you that your stop is 22600 which is your trigger price then it shows that limit is 22500 the limit is the exact price you are going to be selling at then you see amount this is the quantity of bitcoin i have and the total money i'm going to be getting is 20 dollars i'll click on confirm once i click on confirm automatically i'll have an open order okay so when you look at this open order you are going to see the order at the bottom it shows stop limits then when you look at the order it shows amount it shows price and shows condition so the condition is 22 600 so if the market price is around 22 600 the exchange will place order for me to sell my bitcoin around 22 500 that is basically how to set your stop loss and the most interesting part of this is that once you learn how to buy on binance you can literally buy from any other exchange in the world so guys i know you love this video and this video has given you some knowledge do well subscribe to this channel turn on the notification bell and like this video guys you can equally join my platform by clicking at the link below this video or at the description of this video to join my telegram platform to be more updated on my trading and other cryptocurrency news and opportunities i'll be sharing do have a wonderful day and don't forget keep your heads up on the cryptocurrency space